It is the year 3200. Machines have taken over humanity. And the last of humans, Bradsboro, dies. Psych, I'm not dead. Hi there, bros. My name is Bresbro, and today I'm gonna show you how to fix the issue in which the year keeps changing to 3200 in Windows 10 and Windows 11. It's usually happening in the insider builds, those who are testing beta and developer branches. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to fix the year and stop the calls from changing the year back again. And don't get scared because probably Explorer is crashing, your screen is blinking, and uh, you can't even connect to the internet because the year is wrong. But don't worry. Take a deep breath. Leave it out. And, long story short, virtual machines cause certain builds of Windows to change the year to 3200. And Windows only supports years up to 2099. Because we all know we are all gonna die after 2099. Now, <clears throat> let's get into the video. Well, here we are at the desktop, or where the desktop should be. Everything is crashing because uh, the year is 3209. So I'll force open Explorer just to show you that. And as you can see here, the date is screwed up. Now, what you need to do is, if everything is crashing, force power off your device. We need to boot into safe mode. Or in my case, I'm lucky, it's working for now. And I'll just shut down. So in order to forcefully go to safe mode, what you need to do is, Turn on your PC and when the rotating loading shows up, wait, wait, it showed up, press the power button and hold it until it shut down. Okay, now it's off. Repeat that again. So we repeat the pro <clears throat> we repeat this process until it shows preparing automatic repair. Now here click on advanced options and on this screen now click on troubleshoot advanced options startup settings and click on restart. Well, here it doesn't matter. You can either type F5 or F6 on your keyboard. In this case, I'm going to do F5 just so I can have internet connection. And it's starting with errors. <laughs> That's normal. Okay. And the screen is blinking. Now, what you need to do here is on your keyboard, click Control, Alt, Delete. Here, I'm going to ignore this for now. Click on Task Manager. Click on File and run New Task. Here, type command prompt.x. It will open up this. Here, type date, enter. And this is the date format. And this is the current weird date. So I'm going to type today 2021, August 14. Now that the date is fixed, Open Task Manager again and click on File, Run New Task, Control Panel. At Control Panel, go to Programs and Features. Here, go to Turn Windows Features On or Off and turn off any feature that's related to virtual machines. In this case, turn off Windows Sandbox, it's already off for me, and Hyper-V, unselect it. Do not leave it like this, unselect it completely. Okay. Okay, it's finished, close it. Now again, click on Control Alt Delete. On the bottom right, click the shutdown button and click on restart. As you can see, the PC booted normally. We fixed the date and removed the cause that was changing the date. But if it's still happening, you should check if you have installed any virtual machines and uninstall them. For example, I have a virtual box machine here. I'll uninstall it. 
And now we have to check the final damage that it has done. Sometimes this issue also changes the date of the BIOS and that's a very bad thing. So let's power it off and boot into the BIOS. Now to go to the BIOS and check if the date has been ruined there too, there are different shortcuts for different uh, PCs and motherboards. I'll show you the most common ones and I will leave in the description the cheat sheet for every motherboard. In my case, I have a Lenovo laptop and it's F2 or FN and F2. So power on and F2. Click it repeatedly. Well, every BIOS looks different, but what you need to do is go to where the date is. In my case, it's in configuration here. As you can see, well, we are in 2021. So fix that manually, fix the time and the date. All right, after fixing it, I also suggest you disable the virtual technology of your CPU, Intel or AMD. And, uh, and you can re-enable it when you update to a stable build or in the next update, you can test it out. If it breaks again, disable it again. I mean, it's not a, the best solution, but it's the best we got. And now exit and save changes. Click on enter. Well, that's all here. Well, welcome to the present. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please leave a like. If you have any questions or you're stuck somewhere, comment below and let me know. And for more, subscribe to become a pro. Bye.